Yes, indeed. Welcome back to London Invite here from Grasshoppers RFC in West London. My name's Luke Burgess, and I'm joined on commentary for this game between Bad Skid and Ranala by Benji Reese. How's it going, Benji? Tell you what, I'm 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 vibing. I'm loving life right now. It's always nice to be back in the uh, to be back in the capital. Although mm. this is very much not my area of London. Yeah, we're nowhere near those landmarks in the intro. No, <laughs> not at all. I can see some sort of wind turbine in the distance. Yeah. Uh, I must admit, West, like this West, this West London is is very alien to me. But it's a lovely facility here at Grasshoppers. Oh, yes. uh, we are delighted to be back at the London Invite and first open game of the day. This could be an absolute cracker. It absolutely could. Both teams are here to play. They're here to win every single game that comes up in front of them. As we have the pull. Bad skid, start on offense. Decent pull from Randla to open things up. Inside. Yeah, both these teams are trying to get things done before Worlds as Randla get a block kind of break to open up the game before we even have time to say anything about these teams. Randla stick one in. Well, that was uh, efficient from the Dubliners, I think you have to say. Uh, it's Peters to uh, McCreary for the goal in the end. Just picking it up and then they, they, I mean, this was, we are not, we're not waiting, are we? Just stepping out nicely, just to feather that little inside flick in there. And the mulleted man himself, Dean McCreary, with the goal. Well, just the start that Ranla wanted. I mean, couldn't have asked for it any better. No. Bad skid turned it on, what, second pass? Yeah, unfortunate. So previously this season, these two teams did play uh, over at the Elite Invite in Bologna at the start of the season. Uh, that went bad skids way, but in that game, Randler had lost a few bodies. They had a few injuries. It was the last game of the tournament. So that result does not necessarily reflect on what we're going to see today. No, both sides have uh, not necessarily been at their, been at full strength this season kind of managing some injuries uh, for, ge for, the, for the Germans. Uh, quite a few of the players are in the, uh, are in the German World Games squad, so they've not necessarily been available at tournaments and at trainings uh, all season as well. So this is kind of really the first time we're seeing these two sides at full strength. And at the moment, Randall are drawing first blood. So Muller sticks it deep. Looking for the receiver, does come down with it. Options. Not quite in the end zone yet, just working around the back and a drop once again. Randler, another early break opportunity. There's a deep shot from Randler. But too low. And we might have an injury call off of the landing. Yeah, McCreary. Opting to put it deep, but the veteran Müller was there, one of the uh, one of the coaches for the German World Games side, and there is a player down for Ranella, and looking in some discomfort. There might be Stephen Jones, I think. This is uh, very much not what either side would have wanted to see. No, we never want to see players injured. I don't think there was much contact on the play itself. It looked like it was the landing that was the issue. But So both of these sides are uh, in pool. Hang on, I, I had it and then I lost it. Uh, they're in the uh, open pool one. Bad skid, the fifth seeds overall, third in the pool. Randall, the seventh seeds overall, also in this pool. Clapham and La Fotta. So easy, easy group, no problem. Easy, just walk, yeah. it, just just absolutely walk it. Uh, <laughs> elsewhere in uh, in the tournament, on the other side, on the other pool here in the open division, uh, they uh, played their first games uh, in that previous slot. Chevron won a tight game over Wall City, 15-12. Whereas Alba absolutely pantsed Gentle, 15 Oof. to five. We, we had the pick of the games, I think. 13-11, oh, Box yeah. beat Sick. So a hot start here at the London Invite. So, bad skid working around the back. Now they choose to go deep. 
It's going to sit in this wind, but a potential foul call on the throw. Yep, the disc will go back. Yeah, it looked like it sank. You could see the wind because it kind of sank really awkwardly at the end. But a foul on the throw there. Uh, it is Doyle who was trying to put the mark on uh, Nico Muller. Yeah, very blustery day here at London Invite. Wind coming from behind the back of the camera towards the stands on the far side. Hoping to see a, hoping to see a very visible sideline for the showcase games this evening. As the disc is checked back in. Muller to the near side. Back infield. Just working around the back. Good defense downfield from Ranela. Not allowing many options, but there's the around break. Back infield, close bid. That was bad skid. Look to set up their end zone offense. Looking for this near corner, but has to reset. Good disc movement on that far side. Still not many options downfield though. Randall are tight. But that disc slips past the defender onto the far corner and popped into the end zone, but it's dropped. Randall once again. I think that might be the second drop this point for Deutscher. Yes. Which is really unlike him. Such an engine downfield. Randall are underway. Another break opportunity. So work it around the back. Interesting layout form, and there's the deep shot. But it's sitting high. The wind is going to push it to that far side. His body's underneath it. A bad skid. Do come up on top of that matchup. Dosha with the block, I believe. Yeah, making amends there by getting the disc back. And uh, you understand wanting to put it there, a player who had steps deep. I think Keo. You know, it's an understandable decision, but you can see what an effect the wind is having there because it just turned it into an absolute hosti 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 <laughs> Yes. I'll come in again. One of those. Yes. An absolute hospital pass. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah, we did it. Nailed it. Clearly, I am also in a world's form. It's a bad skid. Once again, trying to put this O point in. Ruler goes deep. And that one's not going to sit. It's going to go too far, in fact. Absolute laser of a backhand downfield. Bad skids offense is. Uh, it's not on the right. It's not. It's not on the right sort of wavelength at the moment, is it? They're not connecting. Although they've had opportunities, but. I mean, a drop in the end zone is, is not what they want. And you sense they're maybe getting a little bit frustrated with these deep shots just going too far. No, this is the third possession here on this point for Ranala now. And straight away with the deep shot. And once again, Randall can't come down with it. Yeah, Murphy had that in his hand, but it just bounced down. I don't think he could close it quick enough. It was a tricky catch. It's bad skid, go deep. And this one is caught. Wojtan Muller pops to the end zone and finds Muller for the score. Bad skid, do hold. I mean, I think maybe Randall can take that as a moral victory because this bad skid offense is not looking in top form at all and they are getting the turnovers they just hadn't at that time they just couldn't find a way to to punch it in the one thing i guess you could say about about bad skid is even though they were turning it over generally they were turning it over right by the attacking end zone so randler having to go the full length of the pitch in order to get those breaks is boyton muller just gonna lead marco muller into the end zone for the score Yeah, plenty of opportunities for Anla, but they need to put them in. They are a break up though, so feeling comfortable. And we're gonna see the Randler O line for the first time this game and indeed this tournament.
excited to see how uh, how they can go together. They, it feels like offensively, that I I feel like the Irish teams have generally always had good defense, but mm. offensively they've been a little bit not temperamental perhaps, but a little bit hot and cold. But there's been a consistency yeah. in the past couple of years to the Randler offense, and the player who's going to catch the ball or let it drop at least, Fernie Rogers is a big reason why. So Rogers finds Murphy. Rogers! Looks off the deep shot. Pop to Stewart. Stewart looking in field now. But Rogers. Feely. Rogers. Looking at the end zone now. Bad skid. Trying to surround the stack, but on oh, a miscommunication will give Bad Skid the block and they are off to the races as that pop pass sailed just too high though it's really quite tricky to throw quick pop passes in the wind like this you have to put lots of spin Randler bit of a gift there Keenan goes back to, to Rogers that disc does not find the target and Bad Skid have another opportunity to get their break back. Almost the dropped catch, but well rescued by Skull. I'm not quite sure how he managed to keep that alive, but uh, credit to the concentration, I guess. But that one is not going to be kept alive, and the disc is rolling towards the Bad Skid end zone. A bit unfortunate for Bad Skid. There's, there's a slight delay picking the disc up. I think one of the bad skid players just needed a second. Good spirit from Randler to allow them to do that. Rogers now goes back. Just working between the two of them in this field. Nice pick up. Feely inside break on the end zone line now. Morgan Carey pops it in. And Keenan with the score for Randler. They do hold. Although it took them a few attempts. Yeah, neither side has... That, I don't think the O has been massively convincing. It felt like th that first possession, Randall were looking really good until the end zone when mm. Bad Skid really locked down. That initial turn came because for Rogers and, uh, and the other handler were kind of... They had that communication. He saw that there was an opportunity for the lead pass there, but locked onto the receiver. Obviously, the risk there is you've got the other defenders in play and really read the eyes there and Pritch kept forward snatched it away and then again a couple of turnovers aside before Randler able to get it in motion the utilizing the break side well I feel early in this game the Irish yeah they are their first score came from a IO break straight into the end zone and they managed to work it to the break side and pop it in on this near corner for that score So bad skid on offense once again. Trying to work through this Ranola zone. A lot of sidelining coming from the Irish here. Trying to give as much information and support as possible to their teammates on field. It's good work from Ranola, keeping bad skid pinned on their end zone line. And Ranola shoot deep. There is separation and well found from Bad Skid. They pop it into the end zone. Dosha with the assist. And a blown blown coverage from Randler will give Bad Skid a relatively easy score there. You can probably hear the wind really whipping up through the microphones here. It is tricky conditions, but didn't really seem to be a problem for Bad Skid. 
waited for the opportunity to find the huck. Dersh is such a tempting target downfield, and eventually, Baskid couldn't help themselves. It's Nico Muller with the put. They've got that defender split. Dersha gets in behind and on the end zone line. It's a little pump fake to get the defender over committing. And then Boyton Muller continues that cut into the end zone for the goal and two apiece. You can see there what an effect the, uh, the wind is having on the various gazebos sheltering us. I was I was promised, you know, glorious sunshine. What happened? We left it in Amsterdam. Ah, uh, that's that's a mistake on our part. It is. Look on the bright side. We could be in Limerick <laughs> right now. <laughs> not that not that I not that, not that I'm not looking forward to going to Limerick because let me tell you, I'm so excited. But it's been Oof. wet. Yeah. Exceptionally wet. Nice around back end break. Ran left to start this and there's the scuba. Doesn't quite connect though. Just, Keenan. Just Oof. Helix had held up ever so slightly at the end. Yeah. Keenan was close though. Yeah. I, I just. As much as I love the scuba, I don't think that needed to be a scuba. <laughs> Potentially not. As a bad skid, go deep. Shooting to that far side. And just slips through the hands. Mateus Uber with the close drop. Yeah, it. I don't know whether you put that down to the thrower or the receiver because, on the one hand, it's gone through the receiver's arms, but on the other hand, in these conditions, that's such a tricky catch to make with the disc dying on you. So Rogers can't quite connect with the target. Just doing off DV's chest. The wind's really picking up now, and you can see it affecting these throwers. So that disc is going to sail high. Bad skid come down with it, though. Just how they drew it up. Yep. Second page of the playbook, I think. Because that one's a bit too high. Randall will come down with it. So this game is starting to become who can deal with the wind the best. Neither team's quite figured it out just yet. There's the deep shot from Ranala. It's sitting a little bit. And Bad Skid will bring it down. Pritchish with the block. Pritch is an absolute mountain of a man. He's built like a brick outhouse. And uh, yeah, he is a really tough presence defensively. Stall count rising. We do find a release valve on that far corner. But Bad, bad Skid are uh, looking a little flustered downfield. They go for a bailout shot and it does not connect. Randall uh, with a short field to work with now. Just a few meters outside the end zone. There's the shot in, layout. But there we go. If you can't catch it yourself, mack it to a teammate. Uh, who gets the assist for that one? Uh, I'm going to give it to... Uh, Sam Murphy. Sam Murphy and I think it's Tyg Devi as well, both wearing the number 99, so evidently I guess Tyg's forgotten forgotten his or something? Anyway, Murphy's wearing tracksuit bottoms and Devi's not, so I think I've been able to differentiate the two between the two of them, just about. And you see it again on the replay, the high throw. It's the layout from Keenan and he tips it and it's not even a, it's not even good Mac line practice because he caught it with two hands at the end. Disgraceful. Regardless, okay. again, not clean for Ranala, but mm. they do make it count. A point to point. Yeah, you do not get a you do not get style points, at least not in the scorebook at the end. Not yet. When you're in charge. Yeah. When I rise to become chairman of the world, oh, uh, the World Fe Flying Disc Federation Rules Subcommittee. Oh, is this your uh, is this your <laughs> long-term plan? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, okay. I'm I was going to stay well away from any WIFDIV subcommittees. If if you do, can you make gratuitous ground checks turnovers for me? Thank you. Oh, that's a good rule. That's yeah. a good rule. One hand, one bounce. Oh, yeah. That needs to be instituted. Uh, 
on debatable line calls if it's cool it's in oof that was not cool and it was down that's brutal from Reinert so another short field for Ranella to work with but still counts rising scuba over the top and they come down with it uh, this might go back on a stall out it was in McCreary's hands for quite some time Yeah, wanted the dump, but it didn't free itself quickly enough. So he just gets that out of there. It's, uh, it's, it, I mean, it is, it's a bailout. It's just get it out and hope someone can make the play. It's going to be contested and go back to McCreary here. Do it again. Yeah, another rule that we should institute. Oh, unfortunate. I mean, sensible thing just to yeah. get the reset off, but much less interesting. Doyle on the end zone line, looking for a reset. Can't find it. Going into the end zone, forehand to this near side, and they do come down with it. Another contested stall out, maybe. Regardless of the result, Bad Skid's red zone defense Oof, is yeah. stifling, isn't it? It is something. The fact that Ranla have been this close to the end zone for this long and struggling to even find resets let alone shots to the end zone is a testament to bad skids defense and they do in fact get the stall out turnover stands so bad skid do manage to complete a pass on and this attempt there's the deep shot but it will not be completed i wonder if that is a little bit of uh not Huck and D, but playing the percentages. Mm. You've played really great red zone defense, but you don't want to have to be doing that over and over no. and over. Because eventually those little gaps might appear. It's like, if we can shift field position, get a Huck that connects, brilliant. And if we can't, well, at the very least, yeah. they've got to work the full length of the field. There was at least a the receiver there. It wasn't a pure Huck and play defense move. There was at least an attempt. Yeah, Dershot was the closest target, and he's a pretty good target normally. What a bit up line from Val Vogel to get wow. that back. Incredible defensive work. As bad skid, pop it amongst the players near the end zone, trying to go into the end zone, but there's no one there. Stall counts rising, looking for the bailout option. And they find a receiver on the front of the end zone. Boyton Muller gets the score for bad skid. Which Boyton Muller? Good question. Michael Boyton Muller. That's the one. There are there are three full Boyton Mullers. Yes. Holger and Samuel, I think probably people will be mo Holger uh, in order of familiarity, probably Holger and then Samuel and then Michael. Holger is injured at the moment. I think he's got a knee problem. So keeping him out of this weekend, I think also probably keeping off Germany's World Games roster. But a player who is on that roster and uh, showing a little bit why there is Val Vogel getting that layout block. And then on the end zone line, Eventually, Hartman does find Michael Boitenmuller for the goal, wearing that, uh, wearing those uh, kind of red tights and that big knee brace on his right knee. Uh, Boitenmuller is Michael Boitenmuller. This is been involved in every point so far for Bad Skid. Uh, two goals and an assist. Impressive stuff. This is what it's like at this top level: is that every player could be. It, like how? Uh, hang on, let me think of a way to put this. In any particular game, it could be any one of these players who is the guy, so to speak. Mm. You can't say, oh, if we shut down this player or that player, we'll be fine, because everyone on this roster can more than hold their own. Makes it, have, I, have, I, have I made sense with that? I think so. Okay, good. It's all well and good shutting down their supposed star, but then another star will rise. That's science, baby. Sort of. And that pull from Bad Skid rolls a bit before being picked up by Rogers. Bogan Kerry on this far sideline now goes infield. Stewart. Stewart goes deep. And <laughs> what a grab! An immediate pop into the end zone. There might be some discussion about a travel. I mean, that is. But 
No, it's all good. That's a ludicrous grab from Bogan Carey. He made that look so casual. Outrageous. And the immediate pop. No coming to a stop and getting balanced and all of that nonsense. Just, just flip it. Stick it in the end zone. Easy game. I mean, this is tricky. And he he's spinning and he absolutely tears it down. I think that was just about within two steps. So good call from the bad skid defenders to retract the travel. I'm looking to get on the low angle. Woof, look at that. And then it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> look at, I mean, who cares about the wind? In that short window, you just want to get advantage, especially because we've seen how good the bad skid red zone defense is. So just get it in there as quickly as you can. 4-3 right on the lead. Nice, spicy contest, this. It is. I mean, we said at the start, both teams are here to win every game that is put in front of them. Yeah, you look at, for example, the Randler team that was in Windmill last week. There is some crossover between the rosters, but this is, uh, this is the side that they are taking to Worlds. And you can see here, early in this game, they mean business. Yeah, it's a very different team to the teams we've seen previously this season from Ranala. This is really the first tournament that they've played where they're going full try hard. Try and prep properly for Worlds. So they set up a bit of a poach set around this side stack, forcing Bad Skid to spread out across the field. And Bad Skid forced to go deep. Yeah. Randall is under it. Yeah, it looked like the stall count was rising there. So Val Vogel just chose to see what he could get downfield. And all he could find was Keo for Randall. That pass somehow teleports through the Bad Skid defender. Randall maintained possession. Physics clearly taking a day off. Indeed. Randler forced to work it around the back as there is a pick downfield. Break here for Randler. Put them 5 3 up. So McCreary will keep the disc. Comes around and another pick is called. Back into Keo's hands. Dersh is on the mark, of course, made his name in the mixed division as part of that, uh, as part of the ugly Ardvox. What a team name. Has, uh, Hesnische Erdvorkel. So Keo. Randler working it down the far side. They go up line, not quite in the end zone though. And let's see if Bad Skid's stifling end zone defense can do the job once again. Looks like it might as Randler off for a high throw. Bad Skid do come down with it. And immediately shoot deep. Muller looking for Boyton Muller, but that disc will sail wide. It's Bad Skid end zone defense, Benji. I mean, it's predicated on the winds going really uh, away from the camera here. So they trap you on that line, get players in, sitting in the open side and really challenge you to break the mark right mm. into the teeth of that wind. And it's funny how often good teams get so preoccupied with trying to s zip it in the front cone. As that one is uh, long gone. Not, not close. Not really, no. Yeah, it was an I.O. the whole way, and the underside of the disc was facing the wind for the entire time. Never really stood a chance. That was only going to end up in one place. Nico Muller will field the disc for Vad Skid. 
Sarandler poaching off the front of the stack a little bit, trying to force something big. And Bad Skid do find something big. Reinhardt was wide open. Working around the back now. Moiler once again. Doesn't have many options though. But now Bad Skid are moving. Hartman. And a pick is called. Everything just getting a bit too congested close to the end zone. And Nico Miller will give the disc back to Hartman. For the reset. So Randall, I need to step up now. Try and channel some of the defense that we've seen on the end zone from Bad Skid, but they can't do it. Bad Skid slot in the short field. Uh, two players who generally will be hope linking up at the World Games. Nico Mueller finding Steph Dersher to make it four all. Again, Randler getting it close to another break, but the red zone defense for Bad Skid is just too good. It's been incredibly impressive these last few points. So we see a timeout call. Not sure which team called it, but we will take a pr quick break as the players do. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Was very was very kind of uh, ace disc golf a to sponsor us and b to uh, splice in footage of someone else throwing it so they can't see how bad I am. Very kind <laughs> of them. Uh, thank you to all our sponsors and patrons for allowing Ulti TV to help bring ultimate to the people. For all in this game, Luke. It's uh, mm. Ranala just about with their noses in front, but it's been kind of agricultural, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Both teams just grinding it out, and neither team really coming out on top so far. Ranala are up a break. So in that sense, it's it's four all to Ranala. God, that it sounds so wrong when you say it, but I, but I do, but you are right, sort of, yes. Good roll stopping, indeed. As Bad Skid used to come down with his own after the timeout. High pass over the top is collected. Murphy goes back to Rogers. Doyle looking for options. Does find Rogers. Back to Doyle. Pivots through the mark. And that disc is going to sit high. Randall will come down with it, though. Keenan. Visionary. Finds Murphy, who goes to the end zone. And Bogan Carey with the score. And a comfortable hold eventually for Randall. I mean, just how they drew it up? Yeah, no problem. Sure. Easy game. Why not? 
I mean, look, it wasn't. The throw probably didn't come off how they how they intended it to. But given that it was in the air and it was floating, mm. got to credit them for having a receiver who's reading it well. Yeah. And is there to provide the backup in Keenan. Keenan finds Murphy on the far side. Just steps out. A little bit of inside out shape on that one. You can see it just a little bit of wobble on it, but holds its line true enough into Bogan Carey. And that's going to put Randler up 5 4. Another clean hold. Mm. Their last two offensive, po offensive points haven't turned the disc over, so it feels like they're finding a little bit of rhythm maybe now. Yeah, they've started to figure the wind out seemed to be part of the problem they were facing. The other problem that Randler were facing, of course, was this just absolutely suffocating end zone defense from Bad Skid. But that time, they shot from halfway. Didn't give Bad Skid a chance to do any damage on the end zone line. That pull just about lands in bounds. Bad Skid full pitch to work with. Still count rising. Bailout throw to the middle. Goes straight to a Ranala defender. But let's see if Ranala can finally punch in a short field turnover. Vladsky have been so good in the red zone. They're looking pretty good once again, but they do find a reset. Looking for downfield options. Can't find any. Does come wide to Peters. He calls the timeout. Wow. I mean, it makes sense to me because their end zone offense just hasn't found a way through. So maybe you get a set play. It makes it very clear what how you want to draw things up. Maybe it makes it a bit easier to get an isolation set up towards the front of the end zone. But you know the pads get on and let them have it easy. No, it... It almost feels like a mental victory for Bad Skid. Yeah, we're going to take a little breather now, but don't go anywhere because we'll be back with you very shortly. So Ranala setting up in a vertical stack out of the timeout, being surrounded by Bad Skid, whose end zone defense has been suffocating all game long. Let's see what Ranala can do. This would be huge for them if they can get it. On the front of the end zone now. Still going side to side, can't find anything in there yet. Peters what? just about finds Doyle, <laughs> who pops it in, but the drop. That should have been it. That should have yeah. been it. The Doyles, Shane and Luke can't connect. It's Bad Skid once again. Come out on top in the short field and immediately shoot deep. This one's floating a bit. It's going to be not quite run down though. Doysha can't come up with that one. 
off the timeout. I like that Randler didn't immediately look into the end zone. They looked mm. to reset first to get the disc moving. One of the problems you frequently have coming out of timeouts is because you can't move before it's checked in. Often it takes a good few seconds of the stall count before someone is kind of providing a reliable mm. option. Mm. And so, and that really gums things up a little bit as we're just having an injury sub called yeah. there. So actually resetting it around the back. So you're just getting the disc in motion a little bit, giving it, giving your players a chance to free themselves up slightly is a good look. And that time, thanks to a number of, I don't want to call them sketchy, I'll call them incisive inside out breaks. Feels like they should have had the break. Yeah. And just for whatever reason, last pass just hits the floor. Yeah, drop, grab, catch. Bit of a gift for Bad Skid. But they couldn't convert, and they've given Randler another opportunity. So, IO break to start the possession. There's a deep shot. This one's hanging. And the Jonathan Scholl comes down with it for Bad Skid. This point continues. Laser forehand to the far side. Fakes the deep shot. Looking in field. Just about. Drops it back to Scroll. It's good defense from Randler. Not giving Bad Skid many options. Schwarm. Pops the disc forward. And there's the pop to the end zone. Bad skid, do convert and keep things tied at 5 all. It's Nico Mueller and Steph Dosher connecting again for bad skid. How many times have they been able to get themselves out of what seemed like a certain break? It would be very bad skid to somehow just not let Randler get away from them and then find a way to come back to win be exceedingly mm. like the team that is obviously you know not saying anything about their their ultimate skills which are obviously impeccable but they're a team that really feels like they have the ability to to grind things out when necessary well it certainly looks like this game is going to go down to the wire it's going to be a game of which team can grind the hardest, maintain their composure, maintain their focus through multiple long points with multiple turnovers. And Bad Skid so far have looked pretty good at that, especially after these uh, defensive stands on the end zone. They go for a long point and then manage to maintain focus on the end zone line to keep Randler out. So let's see what Randler can do on offense this time. They've had a few clean holds. They could do with one again as Keenan shoots to the end zone. Bit of a jump ball, stays up. <laughs> Eventually Bad Skid come down with it, but that could have gone either way. Jessa with the block. The first time that uh, we've seen bad skid, uh, bad skid turn over the Randler O line for a uh, for a few points actually. Mm. It was a decent look from Randler, but the disc just held up that little bit in the wind at the end of its trajectory. So bad skid look off the deep shot. Stall counts rising. Has to go deep for the bailout. Jessa try was the target, but Randler come down with it. Keenan trying to find DV, but it's too high. Hiller goes for a reset, but Murphy's there. And a short field for Randler. They've not done as well as you would expect with their short fields recently, so you have to favor Bad Skid in this position to some extent. Yeah, you feel like Randler's O-line probably uh, 
has a much better chance of converting it though than their D-line does. So Deviant Rogers at the back. Stewart now. Back to Rogers. Stewart looks to the end zone. Does find Keenan. And at last we see a short field converted from Randler. I think what actually helped Randler there was that they weren't too close. Mm. They had a bit more space to work with and it's so difficult to keep a hold of Rogers in the backfield. He's so squirrely. Always seems to find a way to get free and when he can't, just lets the thrower do the work, throw him open. And then here you see the shot down the sideline. Stewart to Keenan, it's rising, but he makes the catch look relatively comfortable. 6-5 ran on the lead. Yeah, I think they, they help themselves by, by keeping that vertical stack a bit deeper than you might otherwise expect off of the turnover. And just let their handlers work it around the back. So it seems at least like Randler have started to pose some answers to the questions that the Bad Skid defense have been asking of them. But Bad Skid have still yet to get that break back. They're going to need it if they want to take this game. Bit of a short pull. Yeah, again, the wind causing some problems for both sides here. So Van der goes wide immediately. Finding the holes in this Randler zone as they work it around the back. Fakes the scuba over the top. Would have loved to see it. Muller threads it through the middle. And a pretty easy hold for Bad Skid there. I think that's the third assist in a row that Muller's thrown. So we're beginning to see his impact on the game. I mean, I don't hate the zone look from Randler at that point, but they're going to need to tighten it up a bit if they want to cause some problems for Bad Skid. The immediate bladey forehand to the far side of the field pretty much killed the defense. That was really all they needed. It feels like if we are going to see another break in this game, Randall have been coming much closer than bad skids have. Mm. But we've seen that they've consistently struggled to put it in after the turn the exception of the game's first point when they were just when it almost happened so quickly <laughs> that they did it before Bandskid knew what even happened before we before we even knew what happened all, we're all, just here watching almost, the game almost <laughs> obviously we're on top of everything yeah 100% focus on the play I was, we were trying to tell some anecdotes give the viewers some information about the teams and their there they are, just playing frisbee. How rude of them. Getting breaks. Not supposed to get breaks that early in the game. It's supposed to give us time to warm up into the into the commentary. But it's been nothing but hold since then as Randler shoot deep immediately, looking for Keenan in the end zone, who will come down with it. As a travel is called. Shame from Randler's perspective, as it was a really well judged put. Feeling really well judged. It was a great throw. See what the players decide off of this call, but looks like the disc will be going back, and Randall will have to do it again. Players are just adjusting their position. Everyone getting set, ready to go again. Feely with the disc for Anila. Goes deep once again. This time not looking for Keenan. 
But what a throw once again. Ooh. Well. Well, 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 well. Bogan Carey, he's going for the crab catch here. And in this sort of wind, it's tricky because the slightest deviation yeah. of this gets it just to doink off those thumbs or those fingertips. I think he'd already got the position there and he could have yeah. just gone for the clap catch. Absolutely tragic drop for Anlo. They had two very close attempts at a clean hold, but Bad Skid will get the disc and a break opportunity. A break would bring them back on serve. So working it down that far sideline and there's the deep shot. But does not connect. Muller's looking for Waldvogel, but uh, just overthrows him. You can see actually, look at some of the players that are on this line. Waldvogel, Nico Muller, Hartmann. They're clearly crossing some players over here. So that if they can get that turn, they've got a more steadying presence on the D-line offense. So Rogers shoots deep, looking for Keenan. Can't connect though. Bad skid, get another opportunity. So they work it around the back, setting up their Burt Stack offense. Ruler goes down the line. Bad skid, working hard downfield. Hop into the end zone and they find it. That's the break for Bad Skid. It's taken them a while, but they've been grinding every single point. And we are back on serve. To flick that switch to bring this game back on serve. Crushing blow that for mm. the Irish. They came so close. And I think that might be a timeout call. Makes sense. It does. Got one to use before half. Of the, I think it's two timeouts per team per half. Either that or three over the whole game. They're, yeah. They're the normal timeout rules that we use in the UK at least. Either way, hasn't hasn't quite clicked recently for Ranella. So I take the timeout, maybe give yourself a chance to, to get back into that right headspace. You know, that the, the turnover that eventually led to the break. Rogers kind of telegraphed that deep, but mm. I think Murphy was working his way free into space underneath on that side. And a rare lapse in decision making may well have cost them. Yeah, they haven't really shown much else on offense recently other than those deep shots. Looking for Keenan specifically. And you need to be a bit more diverse than that to sneak round a defensive unit like Bad Skid. But nearly an hour gone in this game. Still in the first half. It's been it's been a grindy affair. It's that kind of contest, folks. In these and it just goes to show that, you know, even players down the division think struggling with the wind. Don't worry, it's not a <laughs> It's not just you. It's no, yeah, it's certainly not exclusive to, to you. Uh, looks like Marco Mueller has uh, switched into a dark jersey on this near sideline and switched into trainers. So I wonder if he's tweaked something there. But it looks like potentially he won't be suiting up for the rest of the game. Is he wearing bad skid socks? Can't quite tell. I think he is, you know. I think he is, yeah. Wow. Style. Yeah. So, good pull from Bad Skid. Keeping Randler in their end zone. And they opt for the zone. Which... I'm surprised we haven't seen more zone so far this game, considering the conditions. But let's see what Randler can do on offense as Bad Skid switch to match defense. Start working it down the field. Deep shot. Doesn't go far enough, but comes down with it anyway. Short field for Reinelin out. Bogentan. Back to Rogers, who can't quite keep hold of the disc. Goes horizontal for it, but bad skid. With a break chance. Looking to the end zone. Deep shot. 
is collected. Not quite in the end zone though. Bogan Carey never really got sight of it. No. Hiller pops back as a foul is called on the mark. Hit it with the disc for bad skid. Just a few meters to go as the players make sure they're correctly positioned. Gonna need a big defensive stand from Randler here. Blade into the middle and bad skid. Do get the break. Simon Jessup with the score. And that's half. Wow. For so long in that game, Randler were, you know, were in the driving seat. They had opportunities to extend their advantage. They just couldn't find a way through. And then as the half drew to a close, bad skid kind of kick it up a notch, beginning to make the Irish pay for uh, squandering those opportunities. And they'll take half eight to six. Yep. A tense game between two very capable teams. It could still go either way here, but as the teams take their halftime break, so are we. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Meistering immediately launches it deep. Got the shot down. No! Don't you dare do this, zone. Finney! Oh my God! Who let you move to oh Europe? This is disgraceful behavior. I didn't realize you had a check doppelganger. Don't you look at the camera like and you know what you grab. did. The receiver Honestly. had no chance to actually check his feet. Seems like everyone will agree. I love working with a team towards a common goal. For the camaraderie. Camaraderie and playing with my teammates. I play for my team. Teamwork and the connections that I can build on and off field. For the community and the exercise. Because of the community and the competition. I like playing Ultimate Frisbee for the competition. I play for the competition and the fun. For fun. Because fun. I love getting to work hard. You get out of it what you put into it. Leave everything out here. Every time I step on the field, I want to be a better player. You know, give something people to talk about. Be happy, but never satisfied. To step away from real life and focus on Frisbee. I play because I love Ultimate. Find your drive. 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 Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of London Invite and this first round group stage game between Bad Skid from Germany and Ranala from Ireland. We're currently at 8 6 with Bad Skid up two breaks coming out of that first half. It's been a grindy affair so far with many, many points going. Going the distance, multiple turnovers from both teams. But Randler with some questions to answer now. So we see some dribbling through the zone. Randler, Rogers, around the back. Just these three players working it amongst themselves. Lots of quick pop passes as Bad Skid switch to match defense. DV. Looking into the end zone. Can't quite get there, but the. Possession is maintained and Rogers will find the disc. Feely with the assist. And a confident start to the second half from Ranala. That's much that's much more like it 
from the Dubliners. Just against that zone, just staying calm, staying patient. Utilising that inside-out break nicely there. On the score, Murphy goes low. And then after going to grounds to save it, just make sure that there's no doubt. Rogers is free at the front of the end zone. And that makes it 8-7. Also, uh, I'm going to say, I think that's the, uh, the, the catering. There's like a Caribbean jerk van over to our right-hand side. It smells really good. Although I'm not sure how vegan compatible it is, I'm afraid, Luke. I didn't notice any vegan options when I walked past earlier. I'll, I'll, I'll go have a look in a bit, because I'm, I'm sure all of our viewers are dying to know whether or not the jerk chicken van at this event has vegan options. I'm sure they are, just in case they're thinking of coming down later today or tomorrow. Yeah, I believe tickets are still available. I think they very much are, and the link to buy tickets might be in the description of the YouTube video. So a deep pull from Ranler. Badski would have to go the whole distance. So they do come down with a steep shot. Close to the end zone now. There's the pop in. And nicely done from Bad Skid. They get a clean hold for themselves to start this half. Both teams firing an offense. It's weird. The first half felt very attritional. Like it was a real work, a real grind for every point. And half time they seemed to have worked out, oh, actually, we're really good. Playing in the wind's not that much of a problem. Funny how things happen like that. Yeah, they just needed a little break and take some time to figure out how they're going to make offense work in the wind. And here we are. We mentioned the other two sides in this pool, Clapham and La Fotta. They play in the last game of the day. Starts at 7.30 local time. Very unusual time for Ultimate to be played in the UK, I must say. Apart from some indoor tournaments earlier this year where the, the tournament didn't start till like 2 p.m. Going late into the evening, but... Yeah, I'd actually, uh, I actually don't mind that with indoors because mm. it means you can go out and have a big old party the night before. <laughs> it was quite nice having a lion. I mean, to, to be fair, ten o'clock first game today is a relative lion. That's Although true. I uh, did not have the best night's sleep, I will spare you the gory details. <laughs> <laughs> so Rogers with the disc for Antler. That's the pop it round the mark. Going high and Badskid come down with it. Bit of a hostile pass. Badskid rush their offense though. Give the disc straight back to Ranala. Feely and Rogers working amongst themselves. Nice one, two. Feely can't quite continue flow though. Has to go back to Rogers. Murphy. A little two-handed pop off there. Oh. Nicely done from Feely and Rogers on the end zone line there. It, w it, it was weird. It went from just kind of calmly working it around the back to all of a sudden sprinting it in towards the end zone in a matter of seconds. So what good offenses can do is they really, they really uh, orchestrate the tempo. You know, they, they can stink and dunk it and keep it slowly. And when they find those opportunities, those seams and creases they can exploit, they really pick it up. Keep it going quickly and just leaving the defenders constantly out of position. Likewise, you need to know uh, you need to know, you know, when I if you're going quickly, you also need to know at times that actually nothing's there, rather than forcing it. Just just slow things down a beat, a breath. Give yourself a little time to pause and collect yourself. Yeah, bad skid kind of spoiled their opportunity by brushing after the turnover and give the disc straight back to Ranala, but well played from Ranala to punish on offense and keep that disc moving. It's so difficult to play defense against the team that's flowing, throwing lots of short quick passes. You never really have time to set up and 
get in proper position to get the block. Nice deep pull that from Ranala. We saw what an effect a good pull can have in the first game of the day. A lot of the top teams this season have been really pushing their pulls and not really caring if they go out of bounds. They're just trying to get one really good one and then convert it into a break. Interesting strategy. So, bad skid. Working against this Randall zone. Did well to get out their own end zone. But struggling to make ground now. So they find a through pass to that far side. Going around the back now. Mula. Doesn't have many options. Finds Reinhardt though. That was a close juggle. But Mula does drop it. <laughs> Very nearly got away with it, didn't he? It's Ranlow with an opportunity now. For a much needed break. Also, I called this a mullet earlier on. I think it's transformed into a rat tail. Either way, it does look pretty good, I must say. Does it? Better than I thought it would. It's all about confidence. It is. So Randall's struggling to find options downfield, but they do keep the disc moving. It's tight defense from Bad Skid, and there's a drop. He just can't quite keep a hold of it. As Randall looked to convert immediately. Floating into the end zone, it's gonna just about be reeled in. Skoll with the score. They're really pushing the margins, aren't they now, Bad, bad Skid? Actually, both sides, it feels like the offenses are, you know, maybe they're, we're not having as many really turn-heavy points. But on the other hand, they're, they're really stretching themselves to make it work. Whereas before, I wondered if they were playing, them in the, playing within themselves slightly. It feels like this now they've kind of realized that they have to be maybe slightly more aggressive, find uh, push options that maybe they otherwise wouldn't have done. See, Mule is pretty much on his, on his backside by the time he releases that. But Schaal does really well to chase it down into the end zone for the goal. And Bad Skid have called a timeout here. Yep. Still very close, very tense game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Meistering immediately launches it deep. Got the shot down. No! Don't you dare do this! Zone. Finney! Oh my god! Who let you move to oh Europe? This is disgraceful down. behavior. I didn't realize Bosa you had a check doppelganger. Disc. Don't you look at the camera like and you know what you grab. did. The receiver Honestly. Had no chance to actually check his feet. Seems like everyone will agree. Of ultimate players. Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of the London Invite. What you would have missed there in the break is that uh, the Hooter has gone, so after this point, uh, we will cap plus one to the highest score. So it'll be 10 9 game to 11, or 11 8 game to 12. Big run down from Rogers on that throw. Randall maintain possession. Infield finds 
DV. There's a shot to the end zone. Randler comes down with it and a comfortable hold will put us 10-9, game to 11. That was sexy ultimate. I'm just gonna, mm. I'm just gonna say it, especially that final throw there. Oh, yeah. When Murphy's releasing this to Bogan Carey, I don't know if he's even free, but he sees the cut developing mm. and he sees the space and he puts it out there nice and early. Yeah, nice. Inside forehand. Just low. Fade taking nice. the shape takes it slightly away from the defender. That is expertly done. And also, yep. because there was no one being a Finney on the sideline, <laughs> we got a brilliant camera angle of it as well. Love to see it. Respect the three meter line, gang. And that's what happens. Yeah, such a nice throw to space. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Randall needed that because you feel like 11 8 game to 12, it's, it's probably hard. done. But 10 9, game to 11. They're, they're still in this. I'm going to need to break twice, but... If you, get the, if you get the first, though, then it's universe. And, and universe points are, are different. It just, it just, they, they hit different, Benji. You, you can't necessarily just expect the offense to hold anymore, especially if they've just been broken to it to be universe. All of the confidence and the belief is on the defensive side and it could go either way at that point. But bad skier don't want to take it to universe. They want to end it right here on offense as they pop it amongst the handles of the back. Mula goes deep. Defenders underneath it and it does just about die. Boyton Mula can't quite get there. And Randler now with a huge opportunity to break and take this game to 10 all, game to 11. All you've got to do is, you know, put it against one of the best, is go the full length of the field against one of the best sides in Europe. How hard can it be? <laughs> well, they've done it before this game. As Rogers centers the disc. Round to Q. Can't find anyone upfield though. Has to look for a reset. Finds it. Working it around the back. DV with the disc now. Sorry, Murphy. Around break to Rogers. Who sticks it deep. There's a defender underneath it. But it is sitting nicely and caught at the back of the end zone. Sam Murphy, what a play. We've got universe point, Benji. My word, what a put from Rogers. This is inch perfect precision from the Ranala handler. You can see now that, okay, they realize they've got to make some changes, bring players over from, from their O-line. So if they do get that turn, they can really make sure that they make it count. And that time they did. Rogers just weighted it beautifully. Lovely voluptuous inside out shape. Put it right to that back corner where only DV could get it. And he chases it down. Little toe tap as well, just to make sure it's in bounds. And out of nowhere, we've got Universe. Randler's first break since the first point of this game, I think. Indeed. What a time to step up for Randler. Their coach told me before the game that they're here to beat every team that they come up against. And this would be uh, some scalp to put on the resume nice and early. Resume, who am I? <laughs> CV. Well, shout out to Clapham for putting on a scintillating tournament so far. Two very close games. As Universe Point begins. Yes, let's get down. As the pool floats just out of bounds. Landed on the line. That was my instinct. I thought it, uh, yeah, line is out. Con contested brick front of the end zone, no? No, I think they're just giving it up. Don't, don't, you rarely see the contested brick. I want to see the contested brick. You can well, take the game advisor out of... Wait, no, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, deep shot from Pat Skid straight away looking for the end zone, and it's in! Wow. <laughs> what efficiency 
from Müller to Dosha. Just the swing, instantly boosts it deep to one of the best deep threats in Europe. Wow. And it's done. It's over. Müller to, uh, to Dosha for not the first time this game. The two German World Games players combine. And that's all she wrote. Incredible. Bad skid, not messing about. They take the game on Universe Point. 11-10 over Anla. Thank you all for joining us for this first round Open Division group stage game. We will be back very soon with a women's division matchup. Yeah, we've got Cusp Shout taking on Bristol, and I am uh, very eagerly going to be watching that one from the sideline. As uh, it's you and Rachel in the booth. It is. Should be a banger of a game. Nothing but bangers all day here on Odds TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back very soon. TV.